Okay, we've got one minute to go before the live session. Uh, this is Nellie Deutsch. The session is going to be about collaboration. Our previous session was in Cyprus, given by twins as a demonstration of how to collaborate and work together. This one is by two people who are not twins, at least not in the uh, physical sense, but maybe in the virtual sense. So let's see what happens. This is uh, Nellie Deutsch, and I'm joined by uh, support, no, by Ludmilla, my dear friend. Before we get started, just a little bit, hi Ludmilla, just a little bit about the presenters. As I said, they're from all over the world. This is really exciting because this is our fourth, fifth year of connecting online, connecting educators, for educators, by educators, and so on. We've got people from around the globe, from Australia from India, from uh, South Africa, from United States, from Canada, from Mexico, from Morocco. How could I forget that? From Morocco, from Ghana, from um, the United States, from France, from Greece, from Brazil, from Italy, from um, the United Kingdom, from uh, let's see, Russia. Greece. And Greece, yes, I think I mentioned Greece. And uh, that's Greece. it. Okay, and Cyprus, of course, we just heard it from Cyprus. So uh, let's get started with our session. We only have 55 minutes. I want to remind you, everybody, if somebody could ring the bell. Okay, there it is. After 50 minutes, so that Ludmilla and I don't, Tom is here, so he should uh, keep watch. Please share the link. I'll put the link in the chat box with your friends so that you can invite them to the session and they can learn with us. All right, so uh, Ludmilla, you're wearing a headset, I hope, right? So that shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Okay, great. I don't hear you too well, though. Okay, there. I just. Oh. In Kanada, it's not you. It's me. It's me. Uh, I increased the volume. How about now? No, no, no. It now? wasn't you. No. It was, no, it's because the previous presenters were really loud, so I lowered the volume. But you're fine. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Fine. Good. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to the session, and uh, you see the title, The Power of Google in Team Teaching. And so what is in the session? In the session today will be the following questions, the items. First of all, we would like to introduce ourselves. Then we will be, give a brief uh, survey about Google Drive use, those who came uh, to this session, we would like to know your experience first. As always, any in any teaching, you first have to start with the knowing who you are dealing with, who are talking with. Uh, then, uh, starting uh, sharing our team teaching experience with Nelly. We've been together since 2007. Um, then we will discuss with you. Uh, we we'll discuss with you tools and functions used, and we also tell you what the lessons we learned from our collaboration. So to begin with, um, we would like uh, to introduce ourselves, and I it is it gives me a great pleasure to introduce, and of course those who are here probably know well Nelly Deutsch. She is amazing and inspiring and so contagious. Her passion about technology is so <laughs> contagious. So uh, and I am mostly of all impressed with her ability and with her stamina. I think she doesn't at all. She's always <laughs> with something else. She come up with, comes up with this new ideas in a blog blog fest who would come up with this i really enjoy collaborating with nelly and she is uh, on the virtual environment and um she is the creator of it for all she's the founder of this uh, website and she's the founder and she's the initiator she is the inspirer 
she's a master of all these things and you you can read all this but it's really a pleasure and we've started our collaboration online and uh, since 2007 and by the way here in this environment on with IQ and then we met in um, Pittsburgh when Nelly was getting her PhD diploma I um, my husband and I we met person and since then we were collaborating e virtually and in person it's even um, more <laughs> inspiring than just online so it's a pleasure and uh, so Nelly all right I think I think it's uh, it's amazing to think that where did you meet well we met in a whiz IQ chat box we met in a chat box okay uh, so yes that's true Ludmilla and I met in a chat box just like the one you're in right now chat boxes are amazing I forget who said it that they want to do research on chat boxes because they certainly would get a lot of really interesting data Ludmilla is a professor of education Ludmilla is very modest okay she um, she is an amazing educator. She's passionate about teaching and getting her students to be active participants. She focuses on her students. She does everything she can to motivate them, including looking beautiful, which I think is really, really important. Looking beautiful today is, well, it was always important, but it's so important your appearance, how you present yourself, are some of the uh, etiquettes of uh, of life and and that's how it should be so she's a professor of education she was a professor of education in Russia before she came to the United States she started from the bottom now it takes a special person to come to a new country think about it a new language a new culture very different from the communist kind of culture and and to start at the bottom and that's where Ludmilla started and she worked her way up after less than 10 years she's a professor a full professor at the University of Mount St. Mary College she not only teaches online sorry face to face and it's not easy to teach face to face these days but she's also online and what I found exciting about Ludmilla is that whenever I say Ludmilla she jumps in other words she is so busy you know face to face because face to face takes a lot of time you have to go there and the weather is not always wonderful you have to drive to the university you have to spend a whole day she'll come back at nine o'clock in the evening and she'll work on a PowerPoint presentation or a book chapter or whatever because Nelly goofed off like last night you know we have spent hours working all night so much so that her husband would come online and into a Google chat box chat and he would say, Nelly, we've got an extra room if you're interested in sleeping over. You know, this is virtually. <laughs> so um, our husbands met, which is really wonderful uh, in Victoria. They finally met and it was exciting. It's exciting to bring your family into the equation. So that's about us. Ludmilla is everything that you'd want an educator to be. So thank you, Ludmilla, for oh. always being there, <laughs> I would, I always would say, supporting me. I would me. say the same thing about you. <laughs> well, you know, when you talk about twin sisters, we're not physically twins, but we right. certainly are spiritually and virtually we are twins. All right, so let's get started, everybody, before I start crying. All right, so uh, Ludmilla, I'll let you continue. Okay, I think, I think, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm going to. Everything's prepared. Everything is prepared. Well, this is the. Uh, you know, we're the like the husband and wife. Pool. We also have arguments. So don't be surprised uh, if we start. We have no, a we do. Uh, Nelly, is kidding. it? All right. So let's see. The questions prepared? are. Okay. I think we have um, pool. The first question, uh, let me publish it. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's the first one. I don't know if you see it, but the question is. Who considers himself a master of Google Drive? Do you consider yourself a master of Google Drive? Okay, so you've got two options. One is I don't consider myself a master of Google Drive. And the other one is 
I consider myself a master of Google Drive. Oh, we've got some masters. Wonderful. Okay, this is just something to think about. Uh, let's see, we've got 32 participants right now. So we'll wait a few seconds to get that poll going and then I'll share it with everyone. Okay, uh, so far 24 out of 33 have voted. Is everybody seeing the vote? I mean, the, um, the poll? Okay, let me share. Okay, people are voting. This is an experience to vote, I think. And, and something that we should perhaps discuss in the uh, Connecting Online course feed. What does it mean to take a poll for you? What does it do for you? What is the, uh, the benefit of taking a poll? All right, so I'm going to share the results so we can go on to the next one. Can you see the results? Just let me, give me a thumbs up if you can see the results because I can't. Yes, I'm sharing the results. Okay, everybody sees the results. Okay, all right. I don't worry about it. It'll be fine soon. We'll take care of it. But anyways, the results are Ludmilla. My um, my screen is great. Most people do not consider themselves. And the. 30 people have voted so far do not consider themselves oh, okay. masters All right. so let's go on to the next uh, the next okay. poll okay the next poll is okay I'll end this one and go on with uh, okay let me end this one and go on with the next one okay the next one is do we the next one is um, who uses Google Drive often? Okay, if you could just take this one, who uses Google Drive often? Okay, just to get an idea here. Who uses Google Drive often? And I don't, and I do. So let's see what the results are. And then we'll try to think of comparing the two Ludmilla, those who consider themselves do not consider themselves masters and yet they use Google Drive. Question is why? Okay, it seems to be... Um, okay, most people here do consider themselves... do use Google Drive. Okay, so I'll share the results. You probably won't see it, Ludmilla. Okay, there are the results. 57% consider them... do use Google Drive. Okay, let's go to the next one. We'll end this poll. The next one, okay, very quickly, is um, who uses Google Drive occasionally? Okay, just to get this. And then we have one more. Ludmilla was kind enough to create these. The voting is coming much faster now, so people are getting used to voting. That's good. Yeah. So it seems to be 50-50 here. So who uses Google Drive occasionally? Yeah, that's enough. Right. Okay, yeah. thank you. I'll share the results. Okay, that's just about 50-50, which is interesting. And the last question okay. is who does not know how good to, to know. fully use all the tools? but would like to okay this is would you like to use it let's see who would like to learn how to use google drive okay this is a i yeah, don't cool. but would like to and i also have i'm not sure okay so uh, one user is not sure 47% don't, but would like to. So now we're getting a true picture of what's going on here. And the picture is that most of them do not. Okay, so let me share this and end the poll. Thank you so much for voting. And let's go back to our slide. Okay, Ludmilla. So we've taken the poll and we've got some Hi. idea. There are the questions. We can go on to uh, very quickly talk about face-to-face and uh, how we work together. All right.
And notice Nancy's here. There's Nancy, Next who's slide. also part of the team. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, in in the a couple of uh, yeah a couple of next slides you will you will see um, how we collaborate in together and proudly uh, Nelly showing connected online uh, book from uh, our conference like today it's in the 2010 but as a result of our collaboration, which was happening online on Google Docs, um, we, uh, the, the book was published. Um, and you see, you also hear, uh, here you see us collaborating on uh, Q, on Hangouts. And this is Nelly's book uh, about online teaching. Uh, here you see the picture of us meeting at uh, Nelly's uh, presentation, um, poster presentation in leadership conference, at the leadership conference. Um, and uh, here you see that we were participating and designing presentations uh, for uh, Moodle for te teachers and for administrators. Uh, advanced Moodlers and these are participants and administration and we were collaborating uh, again we start with Google Docs and then we uh, move on to others and here you see us presenting at the conference I think it was uh, in Poland it was the Moodle MOOC for pa uh, Polish uh, Moodlers here we again collaborated on um, getting ready for in-person conference in 2011, Math and Art, and we were collaborating for that. And of course, our favorite communities, one of them is connected online on Ning. Uh, again, before meeting somewhere, we would do, we would do Google Docs. <clears throat> this is presentations and this is our collaborative projects uh, and workshops at uh, TESOL conference. First we do Electronic Village uh, and we started collaborating since 2011 and there are other people who were participating with us and these are our participants that were uh, completing assignments in person but before we did that's us in uh, I think it was Philadelphia where we again met in person and these are Ed Media Conference where Nelly and I were designing uh, our presentations and um, our proposals and we were accepted all these years we were accepted to run workshops on Moodle for teachers and we are proud to say that we um, met in person with uh, Michael Wesh and had conversations. If you remember, uh, Machine is Using Us and uh, a, a great educator, a very powerful, inspiring, and that's why people meet because uh, we love, we are passionate about what we are doing. And this is one of our participants at the at media conference. Um, so it's just um, just just for you to understand how we were working and how did we do it? How did we do it all? Thanks to Google Drive, with magical with the magic of Google Drive, Google Drive documents, dry PowerPoint presentation. This is an example how we were collaborating on our proposal for this. Uh, and we already accepted, so we will go together to Finland to add media conference in June. And we were working on Google Drive. Uh, <laughs> we are happy to take you, and we will take you in a minute. Uh, so we were uh, creating this proposal together, writing, and uh, sometimes. Simultaneously, sometimes 
uh, because we, we live in different parts, uh, but uh, daytime, so we uh, sometimes are busy, so sometimes we work together, sometimes in turn. And then we, uh, by working in Google Drive, uh, Google Document uh, presentation, we would use chat or you use um, the uh, comments and then we come back and we'll resolve those issues if we see that. So we, uh, as you see uh, in our next slide, you will see uh, this is an example of designing a PowerPoint presentation for our current Moodle for Teachers Electronic Village. And these are um, our facilitators. And so they are all, almost all of them here. I think all of them are here. Nancy is here, Halina is here, and Tom is here. So we are all together. And that's what we're designing. And you see a sample of PowerPoint presentation, how we work. We design templates, and then each of us adds um, the content to the slides. And it's, it's really powerful to do and exciting to do together. Um, together, you are power. That's the power. That's power coming from. And in 2000, when, what is it? I think it's 2011, right? So we wrote a chapter for a book, and it, the book was published in 2012. It was a book um, about digital world 2.0, and we wrote our um, chapter in that book. And uh, so. Uh, this is an example of us working on the PowerPoint presentation for the conference. And we, this is a, a snapshot of our text uh, of our chat. So while we are typing, designing slides, we also are chatting with each other. And even now, before this uh, session, we were on Google Drive, on Google, on our Google, and we were uh, sending chats to each other, uh, uh, being ready, five minutes left, and so on. Okay, so now let's, let's start our, let's start fun. Let's start our um, fun together. So, uh, first of all, uh, you see that you can use uh, documents, you can use spreadsheets, you can use presentation drawing All right. and form. Thank uh, you. These are Keep powerful Villa. tools See, that you can use when we uh, pass on the mic uh, from one to the other. This is an old trick. We started this okay, with Gladys uh, Gahona uh, in 2008 or 2009. Uh, how to like get the other person's attention. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Amina. You got it. All right. Um, what I wanted to say was I think that Ludmilla, before we go into this, maybe we should come back to it. This is the uh, uh, the part where everybody participates. If we can leave that to later on and continue, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's. Can we continue? Then we'll come back here, okay, to make sure that we have enough time to cover everything, and then we'll just go through the slides very quickly. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you want to continue, Ludmilla? I don't know what's next. Um, no, um, okay. where do you want to go? I want to go to the next ones right. and then come back here because that's that's the the place where we want everybody to, yeah, okay, all right, go ahead. Okay. Where, where do you want to go uh, back? Okay, so, um, and Google Drive really, um, okay, gives you limitless possibilities, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. So, um, and Google Drive really um, gives you limitless possibilities. Uh, you can write articles together. You can brainstorm books, chap book chapters, um, editing documents together, proposals, and that's what we were uh, showing in, uh, in the previous slide. 
So, and here again, uh, that's what our presentation was about in 2012, I believe, creating effective teaching learning environments with Moodle and uh, with, I, with IQ. And uh, we, before we came to the conference to present, we worked a lot on Google Docs, designing, first of all, designing our uh, presentations, the proposal, and uh, and then uh, and then teaching online and teaching in person. So uh, <clears throat> um, so this um, these are Google Forms, as you see. Um, you can use Google Forms for little surveys. Uh, we usually use Google uh, Form in the beginning of um, of the session. Uh, we create little survey uh, in on WeZek. You you really can use the poll, but during the in-person presentation, uh, you can use Google Doc and uh, Google Doc form, and we usually create little uh, little surveys. So like today. We did to find out what audience you are dealing with, what audience, what what you have to focus on. We have almost 50% of experts here, so it's it's really inspiring. And then we can exchange what you know, what you use mostly, and what we use here. We also use Google Forms in the end of our presentations, and and I was um, in in the end of our um sessions where to find out the feedback um, and so yes this is an example of google form uh, google google presentations about uh, more than 60 ways already this google uh, presentation by tom barrett it was designed um for other people contribute so he on his site at tech side so he shares uh, interesting ways of using Google Docs interesting ways of using Google uh, presentations interesting and he each time depending on how many con how many people contribute he would add the number 150 ways of using smartboard and so on and so forth so, uh, uh, so this is an, a, a sample of using Doc's presentation. And by the way, what is wonderful about Google, it never st stops developing tools. And right now on Google Docs, you have a tool. It's called Tool uh, when you are in editing. And you click on the tool, and the tool allows you to open research on the right side and you can add uh, images you can add links you can add uh, any information you can add new uh, you can add uh, videos you can you right you can add scholar uh, uh, pieces so it really makes you powerful and what is also wonderful that it, it it, it comes with the resources um, and you can uh, so you can use Google spreadsheets um, and you can use, and what is also wonderful if you go in your Google account you go for more these are all new tools that you can use you are so rich you are so powerful with these uh, wonderful tools yes Kazena is uh, is a one wonderful voice comment uh, addition to uh, to Google Docs you now you can uh, give comments to students work using uh, using Kazena or you can use move move note that was uh, Nelly uh, using a lot, and I use Move Note to also to my students. And uh, so, uh, 
uh, again, we just uh, right now we are yeah, showing you. sharing with what you I wanted to say is what, some uh, what our collaboration was what I wanted about. to say is something and uh, yesterday Nelly how many of you were at Shelley's uh, Shelley in. Terrell's session Welcome. yesterday just give me a thumbs <laughs> up if you were there and I'd like to uh, uh, also mention something that she had uh, mentioned about Google Drive uh, Shelley also uses Google Drive. I think most people will be using Google Drive, and I, and I think that you have given a lot of sessions, Ludmilla, on about Google Drive and all the different uh, tools that you can use to become a better learner. It's first of all being a learner, and then of course getting your students to be learners like you. What's exciting is that everything can be copied. You copy everything. You don't have to do everything from the beginning to the end. So what I do is, in fact, you know, the Moodle MOOC right now is in February 2014. I already have Moodle MOOC 4 ready. I don't know how many of you have received Moodle MOOC 4 because I started spreading it. It's made public already, Luke Miller. It's all ready. Everything is ready there. All right, so uh, that's right, you're a learner, Helena. We all are learners. And Moodle and Google allows, it's all ooh, known as moo, goo, uh, allows us to uh, become better learners. So you copy, you simply copy it. There's something in on the left of every document, Google Drive document, that allows you to copy anything. Your, dis, your forums, your forms, your, uh, you know, your, your, PowerPoint presentations, your text presentations, everything. So that makes life so much easier. You don't have to, again, this is an example of uh, connecting online, which is exactly this session. And someone, can you please add the link to uh, the connecting online for 2014, the live session, the WizIQ area? This is where you can get the presentations, the date, the time, if you click on it. Now, you can't do this in a face-to-face -face situation, okay? You can't do this. You just can't. So there's some things that can only be shared worldwide, you know, using Google Drive. And then you can get the time linked and the session linked about the session and so on. It's just amazing what you can do with Google Drive. Okay, and I'm going to say this to you. This was created. Okay, notice who's here. There's Ramesh, there's Nancy, there's Jason R. Levine, and there's Judy who's busy doing her PhD, and there's Ludmilla. And okay, that's me. I think I have a lot of faces. I look different in every picture. And guess who this is? Okay, so Ramesh's daughter created this. And this was the first Moodle MOOC on WizIQ, which was the first Moodle MOOC in the world. Okay, and there's Mr. MOOC himself. Guys, do you know who, what this guy's name is? He came to the first Moodle. His name is Moodle. Yes, his name is... Let's see. Who, what's his name? Don't tell them, Ludmilla. What's his name? That's right, Moodle. Nancy. <laughs> All right, Nancy. That's Martin Dogiamis. That's right. And who's this guy? That's George Simmons. And that's Alexander. Sorry, that's uh, Br already, Brian Alexander. They, they sorry. And that's away. Stephen Downs as <laughs> and Van Stevens. So Van Stevens, Brian Alexander, and Stephen Downs are going to be at the Connecting Online. So look for them. All right, look now. Let's go back to that. PowerPoint presentation so that we can. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, Nelly, I'm giving the link, please, everybody. Thank you. This link and let's meet on Google, Google Doc. Okay. Let's I, I, I am, I am, I'm, 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 Nelly, I'm Where giving the link, here, please, right? everybody. Yeah. Click on this link Let me and let's meet, Google, Google let's meet on Google, Google Doc. Let's meet on Google Doc. Okay, I'm going to go there too. Okay, we've got, we've got how many minutes? We've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Ludmilla. That's all. Coming in. People coming in. So let's go. Let's go, everybody. Follow our Should I screen share? Okay. So, yeah, people already. All right. Okay. 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 
Yes, everybody is typing in. I see people are typing in. Uh, choose different color. Choose different color. It would be great. So you have actually colors. You, you, you use your color. Use your color. Tom, hello, Tom, you are purple. Jose, you are maroon color. <laughs> Yay, I can screen share. I'm going to screen share, Ludmilla. Isn't this exciting? Like turquoise. Okay, so where is it? Great, everybody. Great. I don't know. Right. I don't know. So, I don't know. Uh, it's echoing. Why is it echoing? Why? 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 Well, everybody, everybody can see it. Anyway, what? Uh, uh, what I would like to see, um, maybe because I don't know. So if you click, if you click on tools, you see, if you click on tools, and if you write, if you write in Google, you can find the city. Write down your city. From your city and then drag the image or the link to your name where you are from and add the city or uh, the picture of your neighborhood or whatever uh, so click on tools and then on the right side you will see search and if you click on the arrow down you will see that you can do everything or you can choose images or you can choose color or you can choose quotes dictionary so it it gives you so many tools it's amazing what you can do uh, okay so Jose you use the the link okay you can also if you if you click on tools and you can bring us to your place Just want to give you an idea. So, uh, what you have to oh, do, you have to somebody added the, the, the map. So, we just want to give you an idea. So, um, what you have to do, you have to drag, drag the image to your name, drag the image to your name. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, Liverpool. I like that. <laughs> and when you add, if, if you notice, you add things and immediately on the bottom in the, in the footnote, you will see the uh, see, uh, resources. Just, it's amazing. So you, you always safe because you have the the source where the picture or the any other source coming from all right i like colors i enjoy seeing colors yeah this collaboration everybody is collaborating with um liverpool great And it's collaboration. Everybody is collaborating, giving space, giving time to each other. It's absolutely There, I just made the page. Notice how wonderful. I made the page landscape. You go into page setup. Sometimes it helps. Gives your students more room. What is that? Somebody added links. Wonderful. Liverpool, right? Eh? Isn't that where the Beatles were from? Tom, are you an ex Beatle? Marooning in Venezuela? Right. Don't answer that. It's okay. Well, it's Screen sharing is not working? <laughs> are you sure? Maybe it's not working for you, but we'll see at the end whether it works or not. Let's see if it works. And uh, by the way, we'll oops. see in the. Um, in the recording it's working uh, for me it's not working there not working nothing is working i love that nothing is working hmm. uh, by the way uh all right i'll stop screen sharing anyways i'm i'm recording this uh, and it'll be uploaded to youtube 
So you'll see the kind of mess that is going on. Uh, which looks like a really nice mess. This is so much fun. Is everybody having a good time? You know, give me a smiley if you're having a good time. You can put the smiley actually on the document. You know, get some smileys. Let's see if we can get some smileys. Smiley. I don't know. If... Some cute smileys. Smileys. Images. Why not? There's a smiley. There's a smiley. Are you kidding? Look at all the smileys. And, uh, what kind of smiley would you like? No, and on lots of smileys. Well, you can again. Sure. You can... Look, you get a lot. You get scholar quotes, dictionary, personal. Oh, you, can, you can also. Yeah. You can I like this one. Click on tools, yeah. and you can write smileys, and you can direct. Smileys. You know, the drag and drop is something yeah. pretty recent. It's amazing, you isn't it? You can drag from. Maybe that's where Tom gets his amazing images. Tom always has these amazing images, and I wonder where he gets them from. I think he gets them from here. I wonder. Look at yeah. all of these. These smileys yeah. are amazing. You can use them for your classes. Tell your students that they're excellent and so on. Cheesy. Right, you better get me out of <laughs> here, Ludmilla, because I'm I'm really having a great time with the smileys. So if we come back, so for example, today uh, I had a class with my uh, students from undergraduate. <laughs> um, yeah, so if we come back, so for example, today uh, I had a class with my uh, students from undergraduate class, and next week we are uh, studying field work. What we did today. I asked students to get together and create a Google form document for them to design a test for pretest. They will be teaching unit plan on um, Native Americans, and so they uh, there are four groups in the class, and they will all contribute creating a pretest for students in in the second grade uh, class. Then I asked them to create. Uh, a Google document with the lesson plan, and they all added me to the lesson plan. They will be designing three lesson plans, direct instruction, inquiry, and cooperative learning. That's my requirement. And they will be designing this lesson plan, and I will, I will uh, be in the, uh, as collaborator with them, giving my feedback right away. And parallelly, they design a PowerPoint presentation and a Google PowerPoint presentation. And they will be creating for every part of the lesson, they will create slides with activities, with uh, formative uh, diagnostic assessment, summative assessment, with the images, with the assignments, with check for understanding. So it's really that's where the power comes from, and I am there with them 24/7. So they, they of course they are overwhelmed before they start teaching. Uh, of course they are scared because they will be teaching for the first time in front of the whole classroom. But I'm there for them every step of the way. And uh, some students were telling, saying to me that they wanted to use uh, Prezi. And what I suggested them doing is to save PowerPoint presentation, to download is JPEG, and then uh, upload Thank you. To Thank you so Prezi. much, Ludmilla. I'm and concerned only two pe 24 people have voted, which means that they're not so here. By the way, this is a great way to see if your students are so in are class or polls? not by asking them. And then you, this is how you do your attendance. So let's see who's in here. Well, it looks like only 24 are here. And if this were a Moodle, we could track you and then find out that you're not really in class. In any case, what Ludmilla said about 20, oh, they're coming back. What, 
about 24 <laughs> 7 that's how I feel too I, I teach uh, English as a foreign language where writing is really problematic and students really get lost I have over 40 students in the classroom which is really big and it's hard to get them to uh, learn to write correctly which is really important for them and the only way to do it is to be with them 24 7 on Google Drive this is where you can work with Kezena or with MoveNote and help them improve their writing because you have to, and you can do this in a group you don't have to work one-on-one -on -one. everybody can see the results of the mistakes and the corrections and so on so it becomes a collaborative class you can have hundreds of kids this is for Len who has over a thousand four hundred students Ludmilla this is where you can get students to work together on a Google Drive and learn together learn from each other's mistakes which is really powerful learning about others mistakes and how teachers correct their mistakes so yeah. it's a great way to um, to learn which is why I said in the last slide that besides the thank you is that actually Google Drive drives learning it really does it drives learning and with Nilla, only 27 people are here and it's and 78 percent 79 percent say they're here and three one user says they're not here that must be tom who said they're not here when they're here well they're who said that <laughs> exactly or maybe they're somewhere else all right so let's open it up for questions well, we've got about like, three minutes Google, or so for questions Drive, i'm stealing playing. time explain <laughs> i didn't say i'm not here tom yeah all right so um any questions or comments oh i, I was playing no i was just uh, sorry sorry okay there's the link actually um so Feel free to add your questions. And what I'd like to know if we can continue this on, uh, let me uh, publish the poll. 26 people are here. Some people have dropped out. Okay, share the results. Okay, there are the results of the poll. And we'll end the poll. Thank you so much. Exactly. Tom is ahead of us. Uh, there's the link. We're going to continue this discussion, so feel free to ask questions, and Ludmilla and I will respond. You can also respond to one another. But if there's a burning question, what is MoveNote? All right, great question. MoveNote, if you join the Moodle MOOC, you will learn about MoveNote. You will actually practice using MoveNote. Okay, so join the, uh, the Moodle MOOC. Moodle MOOC yes. 3 so that you can um, use MoveNote for your assignments. Well, but uh, it also belongs to Google. It's Twilight Zone. <laughs> Susan feels like she's in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> well, but uh, I love the Twilight it also Zone. It belongs to Google. It's in your Gmail. You can. Uh, does everybody know what Susan's talking <laughs> you about? You can add. Very good, Tony. All right. So thank you, everybody. We'll continue this on the uh, course in the course feed. Thank you, Tony from Ecuador. Yeah, you can sign off by saying where you're from. So thank you know bye okay. from thank you from thank you from Valentina thank you from because people introduce thank themselves and they say Nelly from okay now bye from the Ukraine wonderful bye from the twilight zone Susan thank I you, love everybody. you from the twilight zone Susan's going to be our next teamster she's she's on the list Ludmilla for um our Twilight Great. Zone, yes, she's she's with us. <laughs> yes, she's part of the Twilight Zone. I like that. Yes. 
I agree. Yes, I it's agree. over, I... May. And join the next <laughs> session. This is to give you a little bit of a breather yeah, so you can get your yeah, next cup of coffee. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure we're all drinking. The next session, let me just remind you. Can someone put the link to the next session? That would be great. I'll tell you what the next session. The next session may be really, the next session is going to be amazing. The next session is with Ronan. Ronan, teaching and building a brand through an educational podcast. Tom is always ready. Now, this should be really exciting because I have no idea whether Ronan is going to turn up or not. I hope he turns up with a comedy of some kind. And then after that, we've got Steve Tuffle, originally from the UK, now living in Los Angeles, on the changing face of online teaching and learning. And then we've got Dr. Glenn Gatton, who's also uh, an old friend. Yes, 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 Dr. Glenn is back. He's going to be talking about grounded theory method to develop theory in online learning now glenn is amazing oh, he's so back. stay tuned he's for back. glenn and then we've got tomorrow we're starting off with vicky davis at eight o'clock in the morning that's pretty early reinventing writing so tomorrow's going to be another day with we'll go through united yeah. states south africa we've got nancy tomorrow dr remish oh uh, Mubarak from Morocco, Maria from the United States, originally from Russia, Carissa Peck, Robin is going to be with us, Jackie Gerstein, well, it should be exciting, Stephen Downs is tomorrow, so don't miss that, at 6 p.m. in the evening, that's Stephen Downs, okay, we've got great presenters, so join us, Ludmilla, we're going to go have a cup of coffee together, virtually, on Google Doc, Google Drive, and lunch on Google Drive. All right. Okay, so thank you very much, everyone. Yes, this is a recording, and the video, the YouTube video, yeah. will appear eventually, <laughs> yeah. I hope, by uh, lunch. tomorrow morning work. <laughs> or maybe before that. Lots of videos for today. And thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, Ludmilla. Okay, see you in the next session.